We are here, ready to roll. My name is Mr. Munted. Hey, those of you in the Heel family, welcome back. Good to have you again. If you are joining for the first time, this is the beginning of a lifelong and beautiful friendship. I am Stephen Munson, and today's Live at Five is to chase a big dream. To absolutely chase a big dream, not something small, to go big and to focus on something outside of your reach, something that you truly desire, something that you have in your heart space, something that isn't quite possible yet, something that you believe that you want and maybe nobody else understands it. I'm going to dive into a book we have right here as everybody's logging in. If you could say hello below so I know that you're here and introduce yourself, you can share this with other people and if you're on your mobile phone, all you do is click off of it, push the share button and then boom, others will see it in your world. Mr. Ted Prendez. How are you, my brother? Aloha, aloha to you, Tracy Hamilton. Beautiful to have you again from the UK and Mel from the UK. Always a pleasure. Paul Evans, I mean, the UK is, is certainly having their presence here in the Heel family. Jasmine, hello, hello. We're gonna get into a book, The First Circle, Dreaming Big. So we're gonna dive right in. Sonia, hello. Great connecting with you all day. I got so excited, so fired up, as I was actually just been speaking with Sonia probably for the last couple of hours off and on, and I just lost track of time. So we started a minute late. Still like to get this done in 18 minutes because I know your time is valuable. I know you have a big dream and I want you to get out there and chase it. Hello, Natalie, how are you? From New Jersey, good to have you. So, if, if it's okay, do you guys mind if I read you something today? It's just a little, little clip that I believe this little tiny nugget in this book is so important to all of our lives. This one little thing that I wanna go ahead let me grab my microphone. If you guys could introduce yourself, say hello to somebody else. Let me grab my microphone real quick. Tina, how you doing? I just love your live at five. Keep up the good work. Cindy, thank you. Thank you for your support, your love. I appreciate you as well. Oh well, no microphone, but Christine, how are you? We're gonna read just one paragraph, one chapter. If you could like this and comment as we go through, if there's anything important to you. Neuroimaging has shown that as we age, the center of cognitive gravity tends to shift from the imaginative right brain to the logical left brain. At this neurological tendency presents a grave spiritual danger. At some point, most of, the, most of us stop living out of imagination and start living out of memory. Instead of creating the future, we start repeating the past instead of living by faith we live by logic instead of going after our dreams we stop circling Jericho now the whole purpose of it is that what happens is as we grow up instead of using our imagination we start to rely on memory saying this happened before it's bound to happen again. So let me give you some more practical examples. 
let's take a relationship for example if you've been in a relationship with somebody and you got divorced you got your heart broken your spouse or significant other or your partner is no longer with you you may tend to be fearful of allowing yourself to love again and instead of loving again you decide that love is a dangerous place to go because your memory tells you that it won't work out it failed in the past it's never meant to be it's going to cause pain you're using and relying on your memory versus if you use your imagination and say oh I can have any relationship that I want I can be happy in a relationship it'll be prosperous it'll be mutual mutually fulfilling that is using your imagination it's the same if you've been in business before let's say for example that you've been in networking network marketing business or you've done sort some sort of social entrepreneurship or direct marketing online marketing something like that you've been marketing a company or a product or a brand or a service before and in the past you have failed meaning you paid for the to get your business started you got a website you had a mentor or a coach or you bought products or you went to an event and things didn't work out for you you begin to use your memory to say on your future opportunities that because of what happened in the past things won't work out for you so you began this cycle instead of using your imagination you go to past memories see we have different parts of our brain and the, the idea of activating your imagination on a regular basis is very important so what I always like to do is every morning I'll get up and I'll sit here I actually have been making a bed on this porch porch life I'll make a bed on the porch and I'll, I'll get up first thing early as the birds are chirping and the Sun is rising and the clouds are passing over and what I'll say is time to use my imagination look at that let's use my imagination and the more you use it the clearer things will get so that's what happens if you use your imagination it will go from foggy to clear and the more you use it the the more you activate it the better things will get because you'll begin to have what you want whether it's a relationship whether it's relationship with your significant other or somebody not in your life maybe it's a relationship with your children and that's why today you know when I was thinking about parenting with love and how it's something I don't, I'm not a parent but the idea is if I was gonna become a parent right I would want to envision how my kids would interact with me and what type of relationship would I would have so you got to be able to focus on what you want before you have it instead of logically as we grow through discomfort and pain and failure we begin to think logically how life will be don't do that it's important to add logics into your imagination so as you begin to create something whether it's a business or relationship or your beautiful sexy optimal body that you you use your imagination to create anything that you want then you get simple structural and add in the logic so for some of you what does this mean in your life today first of all it means you're not chasing a big enough dream because your past was some sort of experience with failure raise your hand if you've done that I'll be the first to admit I passed up business opportunities I bailed out and destroyed relationships I was fearful of trying and doing new things because I had experienced something in the past that didn't work out so instead of the pain of the future I avoided it and let go and passed the opportunity now I have no idea if it would have worked if it could have worked if I should have done it I'm just here you are there right where you are now 
whatever type of experience that you want to have in your near future remember the word future when you say future you can have anything that you want in your future regardless if it's a powerful relationship if it's a relationship with your kids with your parents with your loved ones with your friends with your business associates relationships love maybe it's a, a better relationship with your creator maybe it's more faith in your life regardless it's for you to be able to focus on in this moment now and attract it into your life by eliminating the logic by eliminating the fear of the memory is this making sense are you with me do you follow what I'm saying let me read this to you one more time the first circle dream big if you will write down today your big dream and if you want to write it in here I empower you to do so I believe that when you proclaim and you put things out into the world for others to see and support and to be part of you can begin to truly attract it in your life maybe you're not comfortable doing it in a social setting so be it you should get a little bit more comfortable and not pretend that we're so different than everybody else we all got a big dream and we all got a big fear so let me read this again neural imaging has shown that we as we age the center of cognitive gravity tends to shift from the imaginative right brain to the logical left brain and this neurological tendency presents a grave spiritual danger at some point most of us stop living out of the imagination and start living out of memory instead of creating the future we begin repeating the past instead of living by faith we live by logic instead of going after our dreams we stop circling Jericho so what memory the past Jasmine not quite sure what that means but what is your big dream what is your big dream what kind of big dream do you have and if you put that big dream on the table now say this is my big dream what is it what sparks immediately is it logic like I don't have enough money to obtain that dream I don't have enough experience to have that dream I'm not qualified to have that dream God doesn't call the qualified he qualifies the called so if you have a big dream that big dream is unique to you put it on the table for everybody to know then allow two things to happen all of a sudden logic and memory will come and imagination and you're gonna have a little bit of a battle the battle is yours to win it's imagination versus memory memory is what has happened to you in the past let go forgive move on it doesn't serve you it's not meant for you anymore feelings of guilt feelings of stress feelings of shame feelings of uh, regret those need to go new feelings need to come feeling that anything is possible for you the feeling that you are a creator the feeling that you have abundant ideas resources and energy the feeling that you have the connections that you need to leverage to create your dream your dream might just be to have a relationship your dream might be to have kids your dream might be to travel the world your dream might be to open a center to help millions of people your dream might be to write a book your dream is important that you put it on the table today 
you recognize that fear and logic and memory are there for a particular reason not to dictate the dream not to drive and direct the dream but for you to know that I have not quite accomplished this in my past. Others might not fully believe in what I'm gonna do. And no matter what, over on this other side, I'm gonna be a kid again. I'm gonna dream big and I'm gonna keep circling it every day. I'm gonna circle that dream. I'm gonna circle that dream. I'm gonna pray upon it. I'm gonna ask for it. I'm gonna knock that door. I'm gonna believe it. I'm gonna receive it. I'm going to allow it into my life. And no matter what, that dream will become real. No matter the obstacles, no matter the environment, no matter the situation, no matter the past, the memory, the logic of it, you have an important, powerful gift. It's your imagination, your creativity, your resilience, your ability to press forward. Let go of the past and press into the future. And whatever it is that you have, whatever that dream is, will become. It will become. The best is yet to come. Look at this guy. This dude's been down there. Are you at a modeling shoot? <laughs> He's been at a modeling shoot all day. Look at that hair. Did you guys see our Snapchat about the hair? I, I made my own shampoo. And I did it and then I was like check out my new hair and then I showed his hair so Cindy we're glad you came Tina great to have you chase your dreams Tanya and walk in faith everyone who wants to give a big shout out to Walker if you could do it he just Walker just got a huge opportunity he's gonna embark in tomorrow short little thing he's gonna travel around the country it's amazing and He's going to be working with NASCAR. As I told you, he's one of the branding and messaging and marketing experts that I know. Really good friend of mine. He's been here, and since he's been here for just a few days, wow, we have done some incredible stuff. Getting on that whiteboard, doing some amazing brand new things that we're going to be bringing to Heal. For those of you that are in the Heal family, I like to just say we're glad to have you. We got something really special planned better than anything that we've ever thought that we were going to do and we're going to do it right away. It was seemingly like a distant idea that just came right into the present moment because we had a dream and we focused upon it and we didn't let any sort of logics or memory of the past set the boundary of the now. The future is unlimited. That future is unlimited. So, for those of you that are part of HEAL or you've been thinking about it and circling around it and wondering, now is the time because we're doing where you can go all in in the company instead of $650, it's only $350. It's the lowest it will ever be and that's to go all in to get all of our health, wealth, and love products where we work with you directly. So it's happening right now. It's a very short extended invitation to come all in and to be part of our family that we're doing now as we go into the next level of what we were planning on doing. Anyhow, take advantage of that. Let whoever it is that you know that you want in and get in and do it today and don't worry about all the details and the logic of it. Focus big, dream big, pretend that you can have anything, but focus on that each and every moment of your life because you can do that. This is a cool book, and you know, it's a book about it's called The Circle Maker. All it really is about praying circles around your biggest dreams and greatest fears. Really good book, you know, it is. It's you, you get a, an idea, a dream, you put it in a circle, and you circle it until it's done that's really the basics of it so as i read out of part one great book have a good day have a great time the best is yet to come grab this book if you like enjoy the rest of your night share this with your friends let me know how we can improve and make it better or if anything impacted you in a particular way just let me know below and let us know where you're coming from it's neat to see people in different countries uh, we just had somebody 
We've had people from all over the world, I believe in Egypt today, become part of HEAL. And it's just great to be spreading a message of prosperity, peace, hope, and abundance across the world for others to be you know, receiving and sharing as well. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, Gita. Thank you, Carol. Thank you for those that came out today, Cindy, Jasmine, Mel. We're glad to have you here. Thank you for participating, be part of this. Thank you, Darvin. Good to have you, my brother. Always nice to see you. For those of you that are just watching from a little bit of a distance, Ace, glad to have you. We appreciate you. Anthony, good to see you, my brother. Janet, Emma, good to have everyone. Christine, Natalie, thank you. Thank you for being here today. And remember, the best is yet to come.